All right, everybody, and welcome back to the Goody Panky. So today, by request from Kirsty and Ian, we're going to be making cornflake tart. This is a really easy, old-school dish. So there's all your ingredients. Before we jump in, don't forget to like and subscribe, click the bell icon, and let's get straight on into the video. So here's the bulk of the ingredients here. So for the pastry, we've got our flour, and we've got our butter. And then for the filling, we have our cornflakes, we have our jam, we have our golden syrup, we have our brown sugar, and we have our butter again. So first thing we're going to do is start making the pastry. So we're going to get the flour in the bowl, followed by the butter, and then you're going to rub this with your fingers together. And what you want is for it to resemble breadcrumbs. And when it looks like this, your pastry mix is ready. So now with water, so I've got about 50 mils of water here, but I'm just pouring in a bit at a time. And with the handle of a wooden spoon, I'm just mixing it together until my dough forms. Now just do this bit by bit and just keep mixing and you'll see your dough will come together. And when it does, that's when you stop with the water. So my dough's just come together now, so I'm just going to shape the final bit by hand. Once that's done, so now I'm going to move on to getting our tin ready. So I'm using a glass uh, dish, this is a 10 inch dish. And then with a little bit of butter, I'm just going to grease up the dish. So now we're going to roll out pastry, so make sure you dust your surface and dust your rolling pin. And then with your dough, get a good coating of the flour on it. And then you're going to start rolling it out and try your best to keep a circular shape. So give it a roll, turn it, give it a roll, turn it, as I'm about to do here. Add the flour as you go on so it doesn't stick. And then you just keep on rolling until you get it a little bit bigger than the dish that you're going to pour it in. Once that's done, with your own pail, lift the pastry over and then just roll it back. Once that's done, put that to one side and now we're going to bring our dish back in. Now take your pastry and just roll it back the other way and that'll take it over your, your dish. Once you've got that done, Lift it up the sides and then push down with your other hand and your fingers and just put it into the dish. Don't worry about it. Once you've got the pastry form like this, it is quite versatile. So don't worry about breaking it. So now we've got that done, we're going to stab our pastry with a fork. Now make sure you, you do this plenty. Get everywhere you can because this is part of the process of making sure the pastry doesn't bubble up because we're going to be blind baking the pastry first. And make sure you get the sides. So now you've got that done. So with this, you need a, an overhang of your pastry, but you don't need this much. So I'm just going to trim mine up about there where you saw me mark. So I'm just going to run around the dish with the knife and trim some of it off. But make sure you leave yourself a good inch of pastry overhanging. So 
and you can see what I've done with mine. So now we've got that done, so now I'm going to put my parchment paper inside the, uh, the pastry. And just gently press it in and line it up with your, with your dish. And once you've got that done, I'm going to use bacon marbles to, to, hold, to wear this down, sorry. Now these work great. If you don't have bacon marbles, you can use rice. If you've got a bag of rice, empty the rice into the parchment paper, it'll do the same job. But these aren't really expensive. You can pick these up at most places for like three ninety nine. So once you've got your bacon marbles in, make sure you spread them out. Now this is going to go into a preheated oven at 180 for 20 minutes. So now let's make our cornflake filling. So as you saw there, I put the sugar in first and then the butter. And now I'm going to add the golden syrup. So with this, you can do it on the, the stove top if you want. I've always just done it in the microwave. It's absolutely fine. So once I've got all the ingredients in here, I'm going to pop it in the microwave for one minute just to start it off. So this is after the one minute. And as I stir it here, you'll see everything's starting to melt. So once I've got this... Uh, sorry, once I've given this a good stir, this is going to go back into the microwave for another 90 seconds. That's what it's like after the 90 seconds. Then give it a good stir or whisk and just get everything fully incorporated. So once you've got that done, get your cornflakes and then pour your syrup mixture over all the cornflakes. And once you've got that done, start mixing the syrup with the cornflakes and make sure it's well mixed. Like do this for at least a couple of minutes just to make sure all the cornflakes get a good coating of the syrup mixture. Okay, so my pastry's been in the oven for 20 minutes, so I'm going to take this out now. <clears throat> so when you take this out, so you want to remove the parchment paper, be careful because it will be hot. And just gently lift it out and pop it to one side. Leave it on the side for a little while because then, uh, then bacon marbles will take a good five minutes to cool down. So there's my pastry, as you can see, it's, it's pretty much cooked. Now, this part's up, because you haven't got that much of an overhang, you can just leave it if you want. Me, personally, I like to trim that bit off as well, so that's just what, I hit, what I'm doing here. So now I'm going to go in with the jam. Now I put the jam in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Just makes it a lot easier to spread, as you can see. So now you've got that done, so now you want to get all your cornflakes and start putting them on the top. So tip a few in and then press them down with the spoon. And then, as you've got that done, with the next one like here, start putting them around the edges. And just keep repeating this until all your cornflakes are in the dish. So all my cornflakes are in now. So I'm just going to spread them out and pushing them down with the spoon as I'm going. Make sure you get them quite compacted. It's a lot easier doing it that way. So when you cut it, it stays together. So this is going to go back in the oven now for 8 minutes at the same temp, 180 fan. 
and after eight minutes it will come out looking like this so now the pastry's cooked everything's set and this is what you want you want to see some nice caramelization on the cornflakes that's your indication that it's ready and then when it's ready you just serve it up I've, I went for custard that's my preference we could have a cream or ice cream whichever one you prefer all right thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoy this one give it a go don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you at the next one